clips, uh, DSM, to overhead cam to leader. I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of how difficult it is to do the timing belt on this kind of car. If you uh, look close, the radiator's out, along with most things in the front bumper, which does make it a little bit easier to get at. Um, however, you still need to take care of that motor mount, which is right here, along with, honestly, I'm taking out the engine transmission is what I, I prefer to do. Uh, if you want to do the job right, and you don't want to get your knuckles bruised up too much. Um, it is quite a difficult job. Um, I can show you exactly the angles that would take a while to get to anyway to have things replaced. So look at the transmission up here along the inside wall. Um, over top we've got just electronics wiring. The exhaust is a blast to take off to. And that is how much space you have if you wanted to change the timing belt in the car. Um, and you have to consider too that there's a water pump buried down underneath that timing cover as well. You can, if you wanted to, come from the passenger side uh, wheel well and you can get at a good chunk of it there. Uh, but the best thing to do is to take off that bottom engine cradle underneath. I'm not sure if that's a good enough angle. Uh, which will, you'll be able to drop the motor and transmission down enough to um, to basically get at the timing belt to change it. But as you can see, the CV is already off to the side and all pulled off because it's junk. <laughs> but um, once you take those motor mounts off, that center engine bracket, all the electronics, um, be careful with the fuel line. Uh, that's, there's not a lot of slack in that. Um, you will also have to pull out the rear ball joint so you can get some play in this thing and actually be able to open it up enough to drop that engine and transmission down. Once you get it off, uh, just make sure you do replace the tensioner and the timing belt and the water pump because all of those things were out. And trust me, you don't want to do this twice. So uh, it's basically a, a simple snapshot of what you're dealing with um, and how to get at everything and where everything is located. But um, just make sure you've got something under the motor, jack or, or whatnot, when you lower it down. And I'd actually remove the bolts in that cradle on this side and the other side. I put a jack underneath the cradle, uh, strap it to it, and uh, just use the cradle as kind of a sling. That's what I did last time I did one of these, and it wasn't that bad. Just a lot of bolts and a lot of time, but it can be done. Uh, just make sure you take your time. And, and, uh, don't be lying underneath it when you let it down. <laughs> I hope this video helps and uh, have a great day.